Oh, I figured out what a Walkman was. And then... Ah, what's the thing? It's called a cassette A tape. cassette tape. No. Yeah. Admit it, he's adopted. How can I be adopted when I have a twin sister? Think, monkey. Think. Hello. 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 Did you have a right name? Young Shen is your first TV role on TV. How did you get the job? Um, my manager. Yeah, she's magic. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I sent in a self tape um, for the show, and then um, I came to California, and then they just loved me. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How about you? What did you do? I auditioned. I auditioned, and through the normal audition process in Los Angeles. And do you eventually want to make acting your full-time job, or is it just a... Um, I love acting, um, but it doesn't bother me not to have it. Um, but I'd love to have it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine with doing other things, um, but acting is amazing, for sure. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> So, uh, Mary, Missy and Mimo, they have a way to deal with Sheldon, but George and Georgie are struggling with him. Why do you think is this so difficult for them? I think that these are both men of a certain culture, of a certain southern culture in America, and at a certain time, uh, where there's a bit of uh, classic masculine expectations. Uh, of uh, of young men and regarding sports and other things that they think are are uh, what signify masculinity and uh, and they don't see that in in this this person in Sheldon and so it's hard to identify he's not like them at all either of them yeah. mm -mm. Right. Um, do you think you can help other parents to understand their children with young shade? Well, I've never thought about that. I'd, it'd be nice to think that maybe we can, if that culture still exists. There's a lot more language now and uh, a more open culture in regarding uh, children who are thought of as different or people who are thought of as different than the norm uh, socially um, and, and uh, intellectually. I think that uh, it's an easier conversation to have now than maybe it was 20, 30 years ago. But if the show uh, does that, I'd, that'd be a, a wonderful thing. I don't think that's its intention, but if that's something that comes of it, it would be terrific. Yeah. I think so. Uh, Montana, can you imagine growing up in the late 80s? Um, oh, boy. Um, oh, I figured out what a Walkman was. And then, ah. What's it's called a cassette tape. A cassette tape. tape. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I could deal with that. He's like baffled it. by it. Yeah. Okay. I like those things. But those are cool. That's how we had, to, we had to rewind. If you wanted to hear a song again, you had to rewind it. We don't have and to do that zzz, now. And then it would play again. And yeah, sometimes you, don't have, you to have to take a pencil and... Take a pencil <laughs> again, right? Yeah. To wind the tape. Uh, Montana, what do you have in common with George? Uh, I feel like we have a lot in common, actually. Um, for one, we both play football. I love football. Um, I feel like sometimes we um, have the same personality. Um, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we do. Um, I love that he doesn't clean his room, because that's like me in real life. Um, I, I dare to say that you're a little smarter than Georgie. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so, too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, It'll maybe a little sweeter. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, and I think that's all Georgie has. I think it's fair to say that they've developed a character around Montana. Yeah. It brought a lot to the character. Okay. Yeah. And how do you, how difficult is to be a prequel to Big Bang Theory? Well, I think it's a, I think it behooves us. I think it's a benefit to have an instant audience. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a jackpot job because uh, we have a lot of advantages that first time shows don't have, and that's a built-in audience who are at least going to give it a try, based on the success of the previous show. And so, um, luckily, we have 
fans from The Big Bang Theory, but I think the best thing about the show is that we have fans that never watched The Big Bang Theory. I think the show stands on its own. And I think that was brilliant of the creators to do something, make it different and make it uh, stand alone. And um, I think the show has a lot of advantages in the way that they presented it. Yeah, but uh, we saw on Big Bang Theory is Sharon's dad a little bit different, in a different light than on Young Sharon. Yeah. Because I think he's a loving father and husband and he tries his best to understand Sharon. Uh, there, were, there were already some hints in the first season for this dark time. Are we yeah. heading already in dark times on, Sh on Young Sharon? I mean, we have a short time before we know what ha We already know the history of George, right? Sheldon is 14, I think, when his dad passes away. And so Sheldon is 10 now. That's in another four or five seasons they could get to that point. And we know that <clears throat> his relationship with Mary, the marriage, goes south, I think, by that time as well. I think it's a lot to explore and play with. I think that's good for the writers and good for the actors to get to maybe explore that stuff. It'll be fun to do. Um, I don't know how dark it will get. I think it'll be played as, as we've done. They've got some very grounded and very sweet and tender and some serious moments in the show that anchor it, I think, and anchor the comedy, that the, the show is a comedy. But it, I think it um, makes it a, what makes the show are those uh, moments uh, with, with all that heart. And I, I'm certainly look, looking forward to more of that. Yeah, I, I can imagine if you uh, leave the family, I'm really... It will be tragic, and America yes. will weep at my passing, and I look forward to that. <laughs> uh, you knock wood, we get that far. If, we, if we're lucky enough to get that many seasons, oh. it'll be a very welcome, uh, tragic end. And do you have a favorite moment from the first season? Um, favorite moment? My favorite scene to shoot? Uh, I saw uh, the first season. But uh, the German fans saw only until episode 12. Okay. Um, so early in the first season. Uh, so, well, I have this uh, one moment from the pilot that I remember, but I want to forget. And that's when I had to stuff my face with tater tots. Um, <laughs> that was, it was fun, but at the same time it wasn't fun. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> you made yourself sick. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Crazy. We do a lot of eating. A lot of eating. Especially Georgie. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> and what's, what's your favorite? I, I, my favorite things to do in the show and moments to, to watch when, once they're done are, the, um, are those sweet moments. I mean, George Sr. gets to play. I like that we get to see him be human as opposed to a punchline, as he was on The Big Bang Theory, and see him in a different light, yeah. which I think is makes sense to see, uh, you know, Sheld Sheldon had a chip on his shoulder. Sheldon has a, a new perspective on who his parents were. That's who the, the narrator of young Sheldon is, I think, is an older, wiser Sheldon who's seeing his parents as humans for the first time. And so we're seeing them in that light as well. And, and I, I think that those tender moments, in the, in the pilot, I have a scene with Georgie in the locker room, which is one of my favorite oh, scenes, yes. when we're both struggling with we see their struggle with this this very strange young man coming to school and, and the challenges it presents to both of us. And, um, and all the scenes with the kids. Um, there's some coming up that maybe your audience hasn't seen yet that where George is, is trying his best to be a good dad. And those are the most fun for me to play and most memorable. Yeah, the best. So maybe a uh, last question. What are your favorite TV shows at the moment? That's your question. I don't watch television. This kid doesn't watch television. Oh, and... Like it. Yeah. Nothing. I love that about him. <laughs> and I don't really either anymore. Okay. I grew up in front of a television. It's why I pursued a career in it. I love TV. But I have a family of my own. I have two young kids. And my wife and I fall asleep watching the news. <laughs> That's okay, about I, I the most that. television we get. And we do... Try to cram in some things. We, we've attempted uh, all of the popular things on Netflix and what have you, and there's some wonderful stuff out there, but uh, I haven't been able, I can't give you one that's so contemporary. Oh, 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Except for young children. We watch oh, young children course. every week. <laughs> You're not going to make it in this school if you keep ratting people out. I saw one boy with a t-shirt that said, bite me. Yeah, that's terrible. 